Hey neighbors, how you doing? It's Missy, and I'm back with another haul. This time, it's something a little different, but it's very much necessary. Your girl had to make sure her babies was doing okay, had to check the fluids and stuff, and I needed a little bit more fluid, a little bit more motion for the ocean so it can stay running in tip-top shape. So your girl had to go to O'Reilly's and pick up a little oil. And you always got to make sure you got you some windshield wiper fluid. So when you are a single woman, just because you are single and God has blessed you with a vehicle, don't mean you don't have to take care of it. If you don't take care of your car, your car is not going to take care of you. You have transportation to get you to A and to B and sometimes C or D, okay? <laughs> and back to A, okay, which is always home. So therefore, if you need to regularly get oil changes and your filters checked, and clean, not clean, but checked. And if they're dirty, they need to be replaced. But sometimes, especially if you have an older car, you might have a little oil leak or something that you don't have the money to get fixed. So it's always good to go to O'Reilly's, AutoZone, or wherever you go and keep you the type of oil your car requires. Don't go in there just picking up any old thing of oil. Don't be scared. Go up to the counter. And ask the people, this is the type of car I have, this is the model, this is the year. And they'll tell you the exact type of oil you need for your vehicle. And before you do that, you need to check with the oil stick to see if you are in need of some extra oil in your engine or motor. Okay? So, therefore, um, it usually, on the little stick at the bottom, it'll have add, then it'll have the middle part, then it'll say full. If it's close to full, if it's full or close to full, you good. Don't mess with nothing. But if it's toward the bottom of that middle part or it says add, it's time for you to add a little bit of oil in there. So, I went and picked up the high mileage. O'Reilly's uh, oil 5W30 because that is the type of oil my uh, vehicles use and I have high mileage oil because uh, one of my vehicles is a little bit older than the other one so I use this in it to make it run smoother and it's empty now because I needed to put some in both of them between oil changes. Because I regularly get my oil change. So, I bought this from O'Reilly's. It was $18. And the one that's not high mileage was only $16 and some change. So for five quarts of oil, that's not that bad. Not to me. And I got windshield wiper fluid. You must always have some windshield wiper fluid. If this is only $2.99. It has the Rain-X, which is um $3.99. And it just says it helped get bugs and stuff off the window. But I doubt it because I didn't bought this treat brand. I didn't bought the other one. I didn't got so hood with it to where I put some water in there with a little dishwashing liquid. Okay. You have to live on your means. Live on your level. Okay. So if you can't afford $2.99. Put you some water in there with a little dishwashing liquid. Not a whole lot. You don't want your car to be blowing bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> While you driving down the freeway, okay? 
That's not cute. It sounds cute. It might even look cute, but that ain't cute, okay? You trying to clean off your windshield wipers and you can't see because you done put too much soap up in there. You, look, I don't, I don't need you killing yourself or nobody else on the road. So, the majority of water, a little dish soap. If you got a little money, you can get the $2.99 O'Reilly's brand. Like I got of the windshield wiper fluid or a solution or whatever to clean the windows. Or you can get the Rainex, which is a dollar more for $1.99. Now when you go to O'Reilly's and go to AutoZone or go to what's the other ones called? They have some more auto part uh little stores. Get they little store cards because, oh, excuse me, I did a little taste test early on Missy Mukbangs. Go check it out. But I wanted these two items because it came up to $23 and some change. But when you have their little discount card, once you start making purchases, it sends you coupons in your email. And I have received a $10 off $20 purchase. So my $23 and some change went down to $12 and some change. I took care of both of my vehicles and they are all good. We ready to ride, okay? We ready. I'm good. So ladies, if you don't have a man in your life, that can take care of your vehicle. Guess what? You got to be a big girl. Put on your big girl panties. And take care of your own car. Make sure you have new tires on your car. Make sure you have a warranty on those tires. So if anything should happen. They can get fixed for free. Make sure you keep them aired up. To the right amount. Keep them balanced and rotated. Make sure all your fluids get checked in your car. Make sure you keep the inside of your car clean, the outside of your car clean. Um, that sounds like a lot of work, but hey, it's your car. And if you don't do it, ain't nobody else going to do it. When you get married and get a man and get a boyfriend, yes, if he loves you, that'll be his job. That is what a man is supposed to do. Help take care of his woman. Whip her ride, okay, if he wants you to ride, okay? No, don't. don't. Don't get me to preaching, okay? You, you're not supposed to do everything. When you have a man in your life, you're not supposed to do everything. I think that's the problem with us women. Some of us have been independent so long to where when a man come, we so used to doing everything, we won't let a man be a man in our life. So you got to chill out. You got to let go of the reins a little bit. If God blessed you with a good one, let that good man do what a good man is supposed to do. And one of those things is take <coughs> to do to do what a good man is supposed to do and that's to take care of your vehicle so if you don't have a man in your life then call on your brother call on your uncles call on your god cousins call on a guy friend you went to school with or your daddy if he happen to still be around if you don't have no man in your life then baby girl you in this not on your own. There's still people that will help you, but you will have to learn how to do some things yourself. So, um, I don't know everything about cars, but if you have questions, leave them down below. <laughs> um, I know a little bit. I know enough to take care of mine. So I've been having my vehicles for a long time, and I take care of them so they can take care of me. Um, let's see. Oh, and do not... I don't care if it's a man. Do not let anybody up under the hood of your car. Just you, just how you wouldn't let nobody all up under your dress. Okay, ladies? You have to be particular and careful about who you let under the hood of your car. Because if that person is not qualified and do not know what they are doing, I promise you. I promise you. They are going to mess up more than they can fix, okay? And fixing vehicles are very, very expensive. And it's even more expensive if you don't know 
what the heck is going on with it and you don't know nothing about vehicles because a lot of these um, automotive shops see a woman and they automatically figure she don't know nothing about vehicles and they are going to take advantage of you and yes they might fix what you brought them brought it in there to be fixed but they can also play around and mess with other little stuff so a couple of weeks or a couple of months later you have to bring your vehicle right back that's why I ask you if you have a trusted man in your life that knows something about vehicles let him look at it first and inspect it to see if he can figure out what may be going wrong with it and then let that trusted person help you but if you don't have nobody you just gotta pray ask the Lord to send you to the right place the right location to get your vehicle fixed and and hope that's exactly what they do they do nothing more or nothing less than what they supposed to do because it got some shysty shysty folks out there and they in it for the money and that's what they want so be careful but the best way to prevent oh excuse me having to take your vehicle to the shop all the time is by keeping it maintenance by keeping your tires checked by putting the right type of gas in your car by putting the right type of oil in your car making sure all the fluids is the level they are supposed to be get familiar with your car get under the hood of your car ladies don't be afraid don't be in intimidated by your car you drive it if you can get in and drive it you can take care of it okay so that was my little O'Reilly's car care haul I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned some beneficial information uh let's see la, 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 la. yeah and if you have any questions leave them down below or if you want to tell me some I'm willing to learn okay baby I'm I'm humble okay I, I might be older than some And, and, and younger than younger than some and older than most okay but I don't know everything so if you got something to teach me baby teach me okay I'm willing to learn but if I was able to bless you with something then to God be the glory so I'll see you tomorrow neighbor bye